Good morning, this is Mrs. Heisenmuddle, and today we're going to talk about conversion factors and how to use them. So the idea is that a conversion factor is a ratio of two units where it allows you, it's a ratio that's always true, so it allows you to move from one thing to the next. So the way you do it is you always write your desired or wanted unit on top of your ratio and your given unit, the one that you're given that you want to change, on the bottom. And so what happens is that it ends up looking like this, like a fraction. So normally you'll be given a little table like this. This one happens to be in metric, which shows you the basic conversions, which you're going to use to make your conversion factor. So take a look at the two examples below. In example one, I have 23 and a half centimeters, and I want to know the number of millimeters. So I use the conversion factor of 10 millimeters over one centimeter, because I want millimeters and I have centimeters. And I can look right here that one, or I'm sorry, 10 millimeters is one centimeter. So I can go over here to example number one, and I can say, great, I have 23.5 centimeters over one millimeter or over one in general. 10 millimeters, that's what I want. And one centimeter, that's what I have. My centimeters cross out and I get 23.5 times 10, which is 235. One times one is one, so my answer is 235 millimeters. 235 millimeters. Now, I can do the same thing over here. I have a similar problem, except that this time I have 200 millimeters and I want meters. So to use the conversion factor, I'm going to come back up here and realize that there's a thousand millimeters in every meter. So 200 millimeters over one, because every number is really over one. And then I'm going to multiply it by one meter, because that's what I want, over the 1,000 millimeters, because millimeters is what I have. So now I have 200 meters over 1,000. You can read this as 200 divided by, so this line can be read as divided by. And then that will be 0 0.2 meters. And that is the basics for a conversion factor. So let's try a couple more just to be sure that you've got it. So we have your turn here. You have 20 centimeters and you want to go to millimeters. So the first question is which conversion factor are you going to use? So you're going to come back up here and you're going to look at centimeters and millimeters. So one centimeter is 10 millimeters. To figure out what you have on top and what you have on bottom, you're going to look at, well, I have centimeters, I want millimeters, so that means centimeters has to be on the bottom and millimeters has to be on top. So 20 centimeters over one, times 10 millimeters over one centimeter, the two centimeters cross out, cancel each other, so you have 20 times 10 over one. 20 times 10 is 200, so your answer is 200 millimeters because 200 divided by one is 200. So let's try the second one. I have 20 centimeters and I want it in meters. And you're saying, oh, same thing. But it's not, because if I look, centimeters, one meter has 100 centimeters in it on my table. So my conversion factor is going to be different. So this time, I've got 20 centimeters over 1. I need to get rid of the centimeters. So how many was that? That's right. It's 100 centimeters for every 1 meter. So now my centimeters cross out. I have 20 times 1, which gets me 20 meters over 100 because that's still there and now I have 20 divided by 100 because I read that line is divided by so 20 divided by 100 is 1 2 space is over so it's 0.2 meters so it's 0 0.2 meters now you go ahead and try some on your own Conversion factors aren't just for the metric system. We can also use conversion factors with standard measurement. Again, your desired or wanted unit is on top, and on the bottom you will have your given unit or the one you want to get rid of. So, 
in this case, our length for standard, we have a mile equals 5,280 feet, a mile equals 1,760 yards, one yard is three feet, one foot is 12 inches. So if we take our example, number one, and we have 23 yards, and I want to know the number of feet. So 23 yards, I want feet. I look here and I go, okay, there's one yard for three feet, but I need feet to be on top. So I put three feet over one yard so the yards will cancel. So just like here in the example, 23 yards over one, three feet over one, my yards are going to cancel. So 23 times three is 69 feet over one. 69 ends up being my answer. So 69 feet because 69 divided by one is 69. But if you look at the second example, I have inches and I want yards. Well, I can go from inches to feet and then from feet to yards. So I actually end up doing this whole thing twice. So in this case, I have 200 inches over one. One foot has 12 inches in it. So I use that as my conversion factor. My inches here cancel. So I end up with 200 over 12, which gives me 16.7 feet, which I then turn around and use here to go to yards because I still need to go to yards. So 16.7 feet is what I have and I multiply that by one yard over three feet so that my feet cancel because the yards is what I want. 16.7, wrong unit written there, that should be yards, over three because one times three is three. So 16.7 divided by three, again you can read that line as divided by, is 5.6 yards. So your answer is 5.6 yards. Okay, so let's try a couple more just for practice so you get the idea. So if I have 20 feet and I want inches, this is a lot like the one we did before. So let's go up and look and you can see that feet and inches go into each other really nicely. They're related. So I take my 20 feet over one, 12 inches in each foot. My feet cancel, leaving me with 20 times 12, which is, well, let's see, 20 times 12, two times zero is zero, two times two is four, hold my place. So that's 240. So that's 240 inches over one. So now my answer is 240 inches. Okay, so we have one more here. This one involves going from feet to yards. So if you move this down, you'll see feet, yards are nicely related. So I can write a conversion factor for that. So I'm gonna start with my 20 feet I have one yard. How many feet are in one yard? That's right, there's three feet per yard. My feet are gonna cancel, so now I have 20 over three. So now I have to divide 20 by three. And I look at that and I go, hmm, three times eight is too high, isn't it? Yeah. 3 times 9, even higher, so let's go backwards. 3 times 7 is 21, so it's going to have to be 6. That's 18, that's 2 there, that's my decimal point. 6 again, which gives me 18, which gives me 2, so I'm going to get 6.6 .6 and it's going to repeat. So I'm going to say 20 divided by 3 is 6.7 yards because yards is all that's left. So that would be 6.7 yards. All right, now you go ahead and give those a try.